let's say that what we want to do is we want to find the area of this shape right here. Well, one thing we could do is we could just count squares. You could just say, okay, there's one square unit, two square units, three square units, four square units, and you could go down and you could count every single one of these squares and figure out how many square units there are. In fact, I'm going to encourage you to pause the video right now, count it, and just check to see if you're going to see, get the answers that we're going to be getting later in this video. I hope you got a good answer there. I changed the image here because, yeah, counting squares is great, but if there's a situation like this where there are no grid lines anywhere in here, we need some other ways of finding area. So I want to talk about three different ways of finding areas for figures like this. The first method is decomposing. Think zombies with their arms and legs falling off. And the idea is I want to take the shape that I have here and I want to somehow break it into pieces where each piece is something that I can easily find the area of. Here's one suggestion. I can start right here and draw a line right here like this. I want to separate this into two pieces. And the great thing now is I've got a rectangle and I've got a rectangle. What I have here is I've got on the left, this has a width of four and a height of six. And on my smaller shape, I've got a width of four and a height of four. So if I'm talking about finding area, I'm doing height times width. So six times four equals 24 and four times four equals 16. So over on the side, I need to take these two areas, the one here and the one here, and add up what I have. So I'm going to have 24 plus 16, and that happens to be 40. And let's put some units on there. I haven't told you how I'm measuring this, but let's say that we are measuring this in square units. I'm hoping that's the answer that you got before. This is the idea behind decomposing. When you decompose, you take a shape and you break it up into pieces where it's easy to find the area of each piece. Let's talk about subtracting instead. Whenever you're doing subtracting, you want to take something big and take away something from it to get the shape that you're interested in. So for example, what I can see here is that this shape, if I could draw this big box here, the shape is contained in this big box right here. And to get the shape, what I'm really doing is I'm taking the big box and taking away this piece right here. So if I think about what's going on, the big box, if I'm counting, so I'm counting the height and the width here, and the height of that box is 6, and the width of that box is 8. And again, when I find area, I'm going to be multiplying those two numbers. But now, what I'm going to do now is look at my small box that I'm taking away. I'm taking this piece away to leave everything that I want to find the area of. And that piece right there has got a height of 2 and a width of 4. And of course, 2 times 4 equals 8. And it's important that we're calling this subtracting, because now, to find my area, I'm going to take the 48 minus the 8, get 40, and say that that is 40 square units. Same answer. Yay, always good when you get the same answer two different ways. The last way to get my answer is called rearranging, and it's a little bit like decomposition, except what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some pieces around. So if you notice, I already have this line drawn right here. And what I can say is I want to take this piece right here, which is 4 by 4, and I want to move it down here. So I'm just going to actually take that piece and I'm going to move it down here so that I'm going to have something that's going to be height 4 and width 4. And it's like this part no longer exists. I've gotten rid of all that stuff. Ooh, don't even look at it. Ah, it's gone. So now what I have is one big rectangle. And 
if it's time to find the dimensions of that rectangle, then what I have is going across, I have four for the width, and if I'm counting up all the way here, then what I'm getting is a height of 10. So this is 10. Ooh, that looks like a very bad 10 there, but I hope you follow what's going on. And the width times the height is 4 times 10, and that's 40. Once again, 40 square units. So we had three different ways of finding the area of this shape. We talked about decomposing, breaking it up into two pieces, subtracting, big piece minus small piece, and finally rearranging, moving the shape around into something that we can work with.